What is up guys, we are back with another Sonic Speed Simulator video, going over our leaks of the week. But today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be talking about everything that's possible in Sonic Speed Simulator. Our trusty leaker has come across, I don't know if it was like just a voice chat or something from Nibrock, who's actually the lead producer of Sonic Speed Simulator. They've also done a lot of Sonic renders, which is awesome, and I've used quite a few of them in my thumbnails. So massive shout out to them. I have a huge amount of respect for all the work that they put in, because honestly, they are crushing it. So let's see what they have to say about Sonic Speed Simulator and what's to come in the future. We won't necessarily be talking about what's coming this week in this video. So it's a leak of the week, but we're not talking about this week's leaks. We're talking about the future in general. So just keep that in mind that none of this is coming this week. The first tweet they put out says, not that long ago, lead producer Nibrock has done a Q&A in the official SSS server voice chat. Lots of questions and answers, so I'll cover most of the important ones. Also, a few things might be wrongfully said as I didn't hear a few things out. Here's the thread. A new world is in the works. You heard it right. A brand new and iconic zone will be coming to Sonic Speed Sim. As of now, there's no information on it and it's still in the works. If you go to Hilltop, I think in the corner there's a little like key icon, but there's no keys to collect as of now. So it's assumed that they're going to be adding some things to Hilltop Zone. I'm hoping they'll add a quest giver and things like that, as well as these keys. The next post is called Villains. The whole no villains in SSS rule was just a rumor by someone and Sonic villains can actually come as full on characters, obviously with an exception of some characters that have previously died or just not fit the gameplay. More on that later. Hopefully that means Eggman will come as a playable character and we could run around loop de loops as Eggman. <laughs> that would be so awesome. Classic characters. As sad as it sounds, classic characters or reskins of already existing classic characters aren't currently possible to get due to Sega denying it for now, as there's nothing special to have a purpose for them to be added. Nibrock actually responded to this and said, only said more classic characters. Since then, Classic Sonic and all of the other classic characters have gotten new reskins, but we're not able to extend the roster of classic characters itself. No! That, that maybe means no Mighty, no Ray, and no Fang? They added Fang to the game as like a rival, so come on, add him as a playable character. His model's already in the game, like, I don't get what the issue is, that's so interesting. Fast friend changes. Note, don't expect this change to happen this month or so due to still roughly being planned at May. Current availability of the fast friends feels unbalanced, so to fix this, there's plans to limit some fast friends to some specific areas to make it more balanced. Interesting. I'm wondering if that means we'll get like a vending machine for different fast friends in each world, because right now I think there's only one vending machine in Cyber Station and one in Green Hill. Maybe there's more than that, I just don't remember right now. But it would be cool to have different fast friends available in each world, since now you kind of just get the basic ones in Green Hill, and in Cyber Station you're able to get the Metal Sonic one. Characters. Since the release of Speed Sim, people have been begging for the characters that were unofficial or dead. Now with a clear response from the developer, characters that have died in the main timeline or the unofficial characters like Sonic EXE are not coming. Which is kind of to be expected, they're not gonna add Sonic EXE, obviously. Knuckles and Amy. Knuckles and Amy in the game are probably one of the worst characters compared to what we have been getting over here. I don't know what they mean by that. I never thought that Knuckles and Amy were particularly bad. The developers are obviously aware of this, and if there's time, they'll likely get overhauled. Interesting. There's a lot to this, so <laughs> brace yourselves. Sonic Prime. SSS will no longer have other Sonic Prime related content in the future, which makes sense since the show is over now. Um, they're not just going to keep adding Prime Worlds when the show kind of has died down, so that makes sense. I wasn't really expecting more Sonic Prime uh, content. Sonic and the Black Knight. Any Sonic and the Black Knight related content will likely be introduced just like the recent Sonic Riders updates introducing a new world with new characters and many more things to explore, although there's no info if it'll come or not. Interesting, I'd love to see that, that would be so cool. Abilities! Characters like Easter Sonic, recent Rider skins, or Super Sonic have been getting new abilities as some sort of stats for their character skins. 
Nimrock has said that new and old skins like Cream will also be getting their own ability stats, which is amazing. I'm so glad to hear that. Chemical Plant and Marble Zone. Marble Zone? Interesting. There's no plan to return any of these zones, as they have to rework them just like Hilltop, which takes a lot of effort and time to make. Which is a bit disappointing. I was hoping to see Chemical Plant, but maybe, maybe at some point in the future. A hidden golden statue. After a long time, a mystery for the golden secret statue has been revealed. The sign on the statue says really wise words. Sonic the Hedgehog. Really? Okay. Super Shadow and Silver! There are no plans of having these characters anytime soon besides December to follow Super Sonic's release date. With that being said, this is an end of the thread. Again, some of the information might not be one to one as plans can change. Really interesting though. Nibrock also responded about the Knuckles and Amy animations. They said keyword missing here being animations. They are the most needing of animation overhauls and not model changes. Our leaker then responded and said, Honestly, I would still love to get a newer Knuckles model either way. In-game version does indeed follow the game's design, but even game designs look eh. Really? Having him a bit more buff with a few head changes would be really nice. Really? <laughs> AKA Sonic Boom Knuckles. They're adding Sonic Boom Knuckles! No, obviously not. But that's just... That's really interesting. It gives us a bit of a timeline idea of like what could come because I was kind of expecting Fang in the coming weeks, but looks like that may not happen at all since they're clearly having issues getting that approved by Sega. Weird that they're able to get those like blocky Sonic characters approved, but not Fang. And they got Fang approved as a rival, but not as a playable character, which is weird. I just thought that that was really interesting. And Super Silver and Shadow! We were kind of expecting that skin as well, but it makes sense that they're kind of delaying that one since it's a pretty massive update, so they're, they're probably going to wait until December to release that. But either way, really interesting. I'm interested to see what they're going to do next since they just released Wave and Storm, so it looks like the Sonic Riders updates are going to be coming to an end because what else could they really add, you know? They're... They could add the E10,000 characters, since they still have to add the red and blue versions. But aside from that, I'm not too sure what else they can add, Sonic Riders-wise anyways. So it's going to be interesting to see like where they go from there. I don't know if they'll jump right into Sonic and the Black Knight, or maybe they'll try to overhaul Hilltop and give us some little updates like that. But either way, I'm really interested to see where this goes next. And it at least gives us a little peek into the future of Sonic Speed Simulator. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below and subscribe to your boy. As always, we're trying to reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers. And once we do, I have a surprise for you guys planned. You're not going to want to miss it. You're definitely going to want to be here once we hit that mark. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace, peace, peace. Pa 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 pa